I needed a camera stabiliser, and a quick online search showed me all sorts of options, ranging from £60 to £600. £60 for a camera stabiliser? You're having a giraffe! So I decided to make my own out of scrap wood and rollerblade bearings. The design works well, but it's really heavy, so if you use it for more than five minutes, your wrist feels like you've been arm wrestling a gorilla, and without a pillar drill it would be very difficult for anyone else to make. I wanted to build a DIY camera stabiliser that was really light, so I could use it all day. Out with the heavy camera and in with a GoPro. I also wanted it to be something that anyone could make without any tools. Lots of people still have some Lego or know someone who has some, so why not dig it out and get yourself a fully functioning stabiliser for free? Everyone making videos of camera stabilisers shakes them around to show how little movement they produce but actually their main purpose is to take out the vibration caused by your footsteps as you walk. And the best mechanical way to do this is with the famous Steadicam system. I found that I could replicate this using elastic bands to arrive at a solution that I was happy with. To produce this design, you will need a load of Lego. In particular, the Technic Universal Joint 3L from one of the car sets. If you don't have this, you can buy a few from eBay for a really cheap price. You also need thin elastic bands, a sheet of paper and some tape. There are three parts to my system. The GoPro holder, the balancing arms and the tensioning system. The holder cradles the GoPro camera and I've used folded paper and an elastic band to hold it securely in place. If you want to study each part, I've left a decent amount of time between clips, so just use the pause function. The balancing arm is tensioned with elastic bands to limit wobble. I've completely balanced this with Lego. To balance the system, it helps if the 3L joint is directly underneath the camera. The camera should be balanced to swing as slowly as possible because this slowness means the system is slow to react to your movement. Heavy weights and a fast swing means wobble will be more noticeable. This swing is far too fast and shows the pendulum is too heavy. This swing is much better and the camera swings in a nice straight direction without twisting, which is what I'm aiming for. The tensioning system uses elastic bands to counteract movement and also reduce vibration. Thin elastic bands are best as they allow you to fine tune balance and you have to experiment with what works. After experimenting, I added bands to hold the beams together which improved the strength of the system. In terms of improvements, Adding a few paper towels to the handle will greatly improve comfort and if you want to make this solid you can super glue the Lego together or wrap it in tape. If you do have some woodworking skills you can improve the setup further by making a double handed system that holds a tablet. A few tips I've picked up whilst experimenting are to wear soft shoes to help limit vibration. Walking backwards creates less vibration than walking forwards, and light camera stabilisers are prone to move around too much in windy conditions. Here are some results. No corrections at all have been added to this footage in my editing package.
some of you don't have access to Lego, you can make an indoor stabiliser out of cardboard, tape, a sewing needle and a golf tee, balanced with coins. Once you get the basic principles, it's not hard to achieve good stabilisation. £60 for a camera stabiliser? I think not. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see what I do next, please hit subscribe.